Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're back to the camp and we're gonna meet John Marston to rob a train. We got the wagon in the previous mission, so now it's time to get some money. Money, money, money. Okay. Where is John? Well done, Arthur. You found yeah. the Irish Terrier. Sad but Sadly, true. He's just a younger version. Okay, don't follow me. I'm busy. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. You busy, Arthur? It's true. John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> all right. All right, all right. So, we can take um, some stuff from here, I guess. Some ammo we need to replenish. Uh, let's take some arrows. Okay, got some arrows. We got pistol, reaper, repeater, repeater. Why does it say reaper? Shotgun shells, rifle cartridges. Okay, I think we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Good to go. Let's head. We already said hi. Abigail Roberts. No, we don't want Abigail. We want the train. The train, but... Wait a minute. He said go to the wagon, right? So... Where did we... Where, were, where we left that? Don't remember much about last night. Okay, fine. Oh, there he goes. Wh what if I follow him? All right, boy. Shut up. Hello, Arthur. Don't be so nice. I don't want you to be nice. Yeah. Okay, John left in a hurry without us. Come on. What the hell? Why are you slowing down? the goddamn wagon is that John nope that's yep. not John so he said meet us some at some point but but I don't see a mission we left the wagon here but it's no longer there, I guess. So, what are you supposed to do now? I guess, I guess then we're we just head to Abigail Roberts and do that mission. Because wouldn't wouldn't be the there a sign for um to get the wagon? I guess a day or two have to pass. Okay, we didn't go that far. Oh, it's okay. me. He's just sitting there. Okay, whatever. He didn't even leave with the horse. Okay, there we go. Slow poke mode again. Mr. Arthur. I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. Did they see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Did you forget hey, don't follow me. Good, hey, fuck off. Fucking moron. Okay, what Come what do you me. want? What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? Oh, fuck. he seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Great. Now we have to babysit. This is amazing. Come on, can you just run at the camp? Hey, quit sleeping, uncle. Just what is it? Whatever. What you up to? With, with that stick? Anything fun? I guess. Oh. You wanna come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're the <laughs> It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go yeah. catch us some fish. Yeah. Go get yeah. one for me as well. I'm gonna fish. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Yeah. And it's now invisible. He put it inside his little pouch. Fishing rod. All right. Hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I yeah, like of the course. Snow. Yeah, you didn't do anything. Like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. All right. The companions will assemble for a trivia on an item. Find and return to them and come for reward. Yo. Okay. I have to go to Blackwater, which is crawling. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Which is come crawling on, with me. low man to get his book. Yeah, right. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Just hear your little... Whatever. Okay, where is my fishing rod? There we go. First, we need some bait. Bait. Okay. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. What? Pulling the rod back further before release when cast out further. Press to hook the fish when you feel like feel a bite. That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nimbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank mm. hard to hook it. Okay, someone's nibbling with the cheese. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Oh, uh, I was too slow. Well, ignore that one, Jack. That was my mistake. 
Okay. I see. I see. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Stop reeling. Uh. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. I have no idea how to stop reeling when the fish is struggling. Continue to cause the line to break. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. You okay there? I think so. What the this hell? Is hard. Come on. It's already on the shore. Bingo. Not bad for a first time. Look, Jack, it's a small mouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Okay. Now what? Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Some of those red flowers. What? I'll be right back. Hey, come back here. What do you mean, let red flowers? Are you crazy? Okay, fine. Go pick your flowers. So I just do some manly stuff. Let's try again. Right. Oh. Yeah. You got to stick at things, Jack. I know. Take it easy. Maybe it's the same fish. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Hey, relax. Fishy, relax. Okay, it's the same fish. Come on, it's a joke. Well, this is clearly the spot for smallmouth bass. Eating baked or pan fried, these flaky meat fish grow larger in females and males. They prefer to strike crickets. Right. Okay, we're done here. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's yeah. It's good for you? Really good. I guess. Do we have another huh. bait? What the Look hell? The what? The Flower necklace? Necklace? I mean. necklace? For mama. Sure. What a fine young man. Oh. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. You know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. $5,000 for your head Holy alone. Holy shit. $5,000 for me? <laughs> myself in. We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Who the hell is Leviticus oh, Cornwall? Old fashioned nowadays. Apparently not. Listen. 
This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent Till. Uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Asshole. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. Right. Right. Okay. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Okay, let's mount our horsey. Yeah. Come on. Duchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us. Protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... <laughs> okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. You tell me. It is. Right. Here's your mama. Super. Great! We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. You followed back here. No, they know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? We're we'll screwed up. Five thousand bucks. A lot of money back then. I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Okay. So, that was that. And we've completed this mission successfully with a bronze medal. Bit sucky though. Hey, hey, hey. Wanna. S s s what? Okay, okay, you're the boss. You're the boss. I get it. So, our beer is growing longer and our hair as well. And the story gets more complicated as time passes by. But I guess in the next one, I'm gonna go for the train. Now that would be some fun. 
So um, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.